Thanks for stopping by Angel Building. I'm Alex, and today I've got a quick tip for you. We're going to be talking all about pouring silver versus spray silver, and why it is if you are looking to create a front surface or first surface or spray chrome surface, why it is that we will almost always recommend that you work with spray silver. So I just threw out a bunch of terminology, so hang in with me there. When I say first surface, front surface, spray chrome, what I mean is the surface on which the silvering is deposited. So when you think of a mirror, we often think of a mirror in its most traditional basic form, say a bathroom mirror. And with that, when you're looking at a mirror, you're looking at the glass with the silver deposited over the other side, the back of the glass, with a backing paint applied over the back. That's a second surface mirror. But a first surface, a front surface, or even a spray chrome surface, that's an oftentimes opaque piece with the silver applied over the front with a clear coat applied over the front of that. So I don't have a piece of glass or something like that between me and the silver. I'm essentially looking directly at that silver with just a small protective coat in between. And for those types of pieces, we really recommend that you work with spray silver. And as you can probably guess, there's two main processes for applying silver. There's pouring silver and there's spray silver. Now in our formulations, pouring silver is not a more dilute version of spray silver. It is a different chemical formulation. So it's not the case that you can just assume that you can dilute one chemical to get another. The pouring silver is a different chemical formulation and they have different uses. Now to illustrate this, I have gone ahead and silvered these six inch pieces of glass. As you know, if you've seen any of our other videos, this is kind of what we prefer to use for our sample pieces is six inch pieces of glass. Now I followed the exact same process overall, except on this piece, I worked with pouring silver and on this piece I worked with spray silver. And here you can see a good number of the differences. So as you can see, with that pouring silver, there is that slight film. And so you may ask yourself, okay, well, if I'm going to get a slight film or a slight haze with it, why wouldn't I just go with spray silver? Well, first off, there is an investment involved with the spray silver process. You know, there is the spray equipment, whether that's the pump spray assembly or the air compressor spray gun setup that is involved in the spray silver process. But also the pouring silver process allows you to do some specific things that you just can't really do in the spray silver process. So for example, if you're wanting to silver the inside of a blown glass piece, that's not really effectively done with the spray silver chemicals. If you're wanting to do certain antiquing effects, where you want to take advantage of that slightly longer time to deposit that we have with the pouring silver, then that pouring silver can be really nice. The pouring silver takes about three to five minutes to deposit, whereas the spray silver develops really within a minute. And then also you've got those small, maybe irregular shapes, where if you were to spray them, which you certainly could, you'd be dealing with a lot of overspray or waste of your chemicals. So for each project, you'll find that there's different reasons to use pouring versus spray. And you've got to just kind of determine for your particular project, which one works best for you. For example, if you've got one of those very large opaque pieces, or you've got a front surface piece, then we know spray is going to be the way to go. If you've got a really large sheet of glass, it could be really cumbersome to work with the pouring process, so spray is gonna be the way to go. 
Now, as you may have heard, I did say almost always. We almost always recommend on a front surface mirror that you spray silver. Of course, like everything, there's gonna be exceptions. More often than not, those exceptions are gonna be in some more technical scientific applications. And if you think that you might be one of those exceptions, I definitely recommend that you reach out to us. So you can do that in the comment box below. You can do that through the contact us page on our website. We are always happy to help talk through your particular project to make sure that you find the most efficient and economical way to get your project done. And if you have any other questions, any other ideas for quick tips, we'd love to hear those. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, angelgilding.com. Thanks for stopping by.